Hi, Shannon Pratish here with This French Life. And I am going to show you a few tools that I use to build my dossier for the consulate or the prefecture in France. These are just some things that I have found to be very helpful and I've received a lot of positive feedback from the representatives. I feel like they've helped me get my dossiers approved. The first thing that you'll want to make sure you have is A4 paper. A4 paper in the States can often be found on Amazon. That's where I purchased it in the past. A4 is a size. In the States, we use eight and a half by 11 letter size paper, but here it's A4. And also, when you submit to the consulate in the States, they prefer this paper size. So be sure to uh, submit your documents printed on A4 paper. The next thing I absolutely love are post-it notes. It seems a little silly, but they are very helpful. You see, the thing is, is that when you submit your dossier to the prefecture or the representative at the VFS center, your documents are being sent to somebody else to review your file. And while you can explain your situation and individual documents to the person right in front of you, you are honestly just a number, your file, and they're going to forget and you really want to be able to have a voice with the papers that you have submitted with your dossier and be able to explain your situation better. If you have any papers, be it as an example, a paycheck that has some confusing numbers on it, or maybe a contract, and you really want to point out a particular scenario or situation, post-it notes are a great way of doing that. The yellow is hard to miss. You can point arrows at exactly what you want them to pay attention to. Just be sure to write your note in French. I also use post-it notes to separate out the categories in my folder. Now, this is the most recent uh, one that I submitted for my multi-year CDS. And you can see that I've separated out the categories. This makes the interview process and the way that you submit your documents a lot more organized and professional. Uh, category examples would be, if you are here in France, the OFII Immigration Office and all the letters and information that you receive, a section for your identity, uh, passport, birth certificate, translations of that certificate, and if you're married, your spouse's information as well. Other sections that I would suggest for you are lodging, so anything proving your place that you're going to be living, healthcare coverage, uh, section for your professional um, documents. These are documents that prove your ability to um, do the job that you're trying to do or the work that you're promising. Uh, I often include my CV and anything to support my work that I do. I also suggest that you include a finance section. So this section is all about really just your savings and how you're gonna pay for what you're doing here in France. Give them as much as you possibly can. Show that you are financially stable, that you have a regular recurring income and the ability to pay for things that, while you're here. Last but not least, I always love to include an attestation section. This section is all about really letters of recommendation. The more connections, professional or personal that you have here, ask for letter, letters of recommendation, collect those. They'll help you out. Last but not least, I often include these covers. They're plastic and they're for A4 size papers and that helps protect the documents. And while you often will submit maybe multiples, I prefer to have at least three copies of each document. And that way, when I leave the office after the interview, then I still have a ghost file. These are all the documents that I have after my most recent interview. This is after the representative took everything that she felt she needed. This ghost file is essentially a way for me to know what I submitted, what they took, and then the next time that I go in, because there's always a next time, then I can just simply update what uh, I submitted the time, the previous time before. So I hope you like this. I hope you find this helpful. I wish you the best of luck with your dossier submission. Scroll down to the bottom of this post. You'll find some checklists to help you build your dossier. And if you have any questions, be sure to ask. Thanks for watching.